Well, hello there, Psych2Goers, welcome back. Do you seek change in your life? Maybe things have felt rather dull or repetitive. Sometimes change can be good, like living someplace new or taking on a new job or regimen, such as diet or an exercise plan. Other times, not so much. Changing your life in six months can seem like a lifetime away. When you think about how long six months feel, however, Honing aspects of the way you chase and approach the things you're trying to get is a good place to start. So here's how to change your life in six months. Number one, defining your goals. Have you ever written down the goals you want to achieve? This may sound like a very obvious first step, but in a study conducted by Mark Murphy, it has been shown by neuroscientists that by writing down your own goals, you become more easily capable of visualizing them and thus more likely to retain and remember why you're doing something. Now, it's not possible to always have a pen and paper lying around, or maybe you don't feel as though you want to go find it. But as you are seeing this, see if you can find a pen and paper, or open up notes in your device and write down what exactly it is that you want. One big goal that will be at the very tippy top. This goal should be the biggest thing that sticks out in your mind, the reason you clicked on this video. For example, if you wanna be the strongest person in the world, you may write three core steps, such as exercise every day, eat healthier, and find a trainer. These on their own sound very challenging and as though they may take a lot of time, money, and effort to achieve. Break them down a bit further. For exercise every day, you may make sub bullets, such as Google a good gym, five crunches in the morning and five at night, then borrow weights from a friend. Now write a few steps about how you have to get there. Start with three steps. Make sure that these even smaller goals are the absolute tiniest steps that you can start as soon as possible. This may assist your brain in visualizing steps that are attainable rather than picturing them as so out of the blue that they're impossible and bringing them down to earth. You will notice that when you break your ultimate goal down into pieces, it gives you a starting place for you to begin. Number two, starting small, yet forgiving. This is the time that it'll be different. I'm going to do it perfectly. If you find yourself striving for perfection, telling yourself this can sometimes be a detriment to your success even before you start. Ouch. If you've ever started a new year's resolution before or known someone who has, burnout or fatigue can be unforgiving, leaving you to feel as though if you fall through with your promise, then the entire thing is ruined. Maybe you're starting a new diet, Yet you slip up once and figure that you may as well throw the whole thing away. Sticking to a plan doesn't mean doing the plan perfectly each time. Knowing your own limits and what you're likely and not likely to do can help you decide for yourself. Let's say that you wanna wake up early. It won't be very helpful if you set your alarm clock for six in the morning, despite having slept at midnight the day before. Instead, try to be more understanding of yourself in the same way you would understand a family member or friend. Setting an alarm for 7.50 in the morning may not seem like a grand change that you were expecting, but the longer you wake up at 7.50, the more you can inch the time back once your new wake up time becomes 7.50. It's 10 more minutes of success versus waking up at 8 a.m. dissatisfied that you weren't able to follow your goals. Progress is progress. Be gentle with yourself. Number three, celebrate your growth, understand your hiccups. All success that you make should be celebrated, right? By designating a specific day to review your progress helps you reflect on the progress you've made. You will notice your daily or weekly tasks are turning into routines and that you've made a visible change. And as the mistakes that you may tend to dwindle, you'll feel that you may be ready for more challenges. Tricking your brain into thinking very difficult tasks are part of your everyday life, you are actively increasing the amount of change that you can introduce into your life. You may find that you've been doing exercises for 20 minutes instead of the five you promised. If you notice that it's something that you're able to keep up, then relish in your success. On the flip side, if you have found yourself skipping daily habits or steps every so often, analyze why they aren't quite working. Be honest with yourself. Is it too boring, too hard? You don't understand it or just don't have time? The answers will help you to adjust these goals to make them fit better for you. Once the six month period has passed, 
you will notice that instead of having only a few weeks or months of rigorous progress, only for it to stop short in disappointment, you're making steady progress to a goal that you formulated, nurtured, and worked for all by yourself. What are some of your goals that you're going to be working towards over the next six months? Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with others who need to hear this. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching.